And she said, no, I have to say it. I said, okay. Well, and she said, well, we could do it by phone number. I said, great, here's my phone number. And she said, no, no, no. Um, there's a landline, like a home phone number listed for this. I said, I don't know what my landline was in 1999. And she said, well, did you keep it in your phone? I said, there's no phone. Like, I'm, like she doesn't realize. Like, she knows intellectually. But her muscle memory of talking to someone, well, it's in your phone. No, I, I, there were no iPhones then. There, and I, I, like, again, and she's like, well, I just can't believe you don't remember your landline. And I said, it's from 20 years ago. It was on my family's landline. It was a landline I had 20 years ago that, honestly, I didn't call myself ever. I used it to call other people. And I didn't use it that much. I was uh, out and about. You know, 22 years old, out and about, not sitting at home on the phone. And it was the beginning of cell phones. And, you know, to call people long distance used to cost money. So I wasn't really calling people. And the people that lived in town, I would just call them on the cell phone. So I don't think it's crazy to know. And I want to call her in 20 years and say, what's the address of the doctor's office you worked at? No, I can't believe you don't remember, you know? And in 20 years when we have newfangled ways of storing data, you don't have your iPhone from 2023? Oh my God, I can't believe it. So I just said, well, I'm never remembering that. Not even with past life regression therapy. And she said, well, I don't really know how to help you. And I said, well, I want to be a patient of this doctor because I've done research and he's supposed to be the best. And so I am potentially someone who would like to come give him money. So I don't think he'd be happy if you hung up saying, you know, we had a potential patient. I, I didn't let her come because she doesn't remember her landline from 1999.